Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new game on my channel. We are starting a Forge Quest Let's Play. Um, I have owned Forge Quest for a little while now. As soon as it came on Steam Greenlight, I bought it. Uh, and I think like pretty much the day of. And my old computer could not even run it. Um, so I have played zero hours of this game so far. This is going to be my first first time playing. First initial reactions. I know only a little bit about the game. I know there's classes. It's kind of like uh, a mix of like an RPG and Minecraft. Uh, as you can see, the it's very blocky. Kind of looks cube world like. Uh, and I'll, I'll go ahead and read this. I have no idea what we're gonna get into here. I just decided, hey, let's play a new game and uh, record it. Why not? Uh, the land of Schmoop has endured for thousands of years through the ebb and flow of life. Villains enslaved whole kingdoms and raised. Uh, raised towns to the ground. Heroes, brave and valiant, defeated those evil or just misunderstood villains, freeing the citizens from their tyrannical clutches. Kingdoms were forged, towns were rebuilt, and a new civ uh, a new villain began to dream of con conquest. Oh god, this is going to be a lot. After centuries of this constant cycle of destruction and rebuilding, the, ec the economy of the entire continent began to depend on this pattern to provide jobs for its many inhabitants. Blacksmiths were needed to create weapons and armor, masons needed to rebuild castles from the rubble, carpenters to rebuild towns, wise sages could pass on advice to young adventurers, even henchmen were always in need. Of course, henchmen always have a job in my book. I love the little drawings in here. However, nearly 2,000, nearly 2000 ago, the heroes began, the upper, began to gain the upper hand. Villi uh, villains were defeated by dozens evil dozen by the dozens evil empires were toppled and peace was brought to all kingdoms of the land this ruined the economy <laughs> poison makers were, pra were practically out of business torturers had no one to torture seers had nothing to see and the chronicles er, and chroniclers had nothing to chronicle the entire funeral industry was suffering from a tragic slump of lo of long life expectancy Wizards, as always, eager to use a good fire burst spell, ended up torching villagers after getting too bored of da that damn blissful peace that engulfed the land like a plague and were shortly dealt with by the heroes, eager for the work afterwards. <laughs> oh god. And on top of everything else, the invasive pest known as the chicken began to infest the land. It didn't take long for, for the feathery creatures to spread far and wide after... A oh, century, most peasants couldn't throw a brick without hitting one of the little, the little blighters. So, for the sake of the livelihood of the entire world, which really is just one small continent of one small island chain off the west that served drinks in coconut shells with tiny paper um, umbrellas, the leaders of the world, including all the kings, emperors, presidents, and de despots, I've never seen that word before, agreed to regulate adventures. The little people, they're all dancing. Yay! Yay! Adventures! Um, both heroes and villains would have to adhere to strict codes and regulations to keep one from completely destroying the other. 1,000 years ago, 1,037 and a half years ago, if you want to get technical, the Hero Education and Regu Regulation Ordinance, Hero, was signed into effect. Thanks to this, the balance of power between heroes and villains was kept in check and jobs flourished, so the land began to pull itself up or up out of the deep depression that it, it had ever known and into a bright and glorious shining new age, the age of bureaucracy, also known as the age of the stapler. <laughs> no one has figured out what to do with all the chickens, though. You close your history textbook, having spent the entire trip here de daydreaming again. It was a good thing your parents were dropping you off and you didn't like make it here on your own. You would most likely have walked into every tree along the way. Very true. Today is the day, the day you finally get your hero training license. With nothing but a bagged lunch, 50 gold pieces, and a heart of dreams, you arrive at the hero bureau. Butterflies flitter around in your stomach, literally. This is you ate butterflies for breakfast. This was it. Your first. Your time is now. The door opens and you take your first steps inside. The first steps toward a future of adventure and glory. Alright, here we go. Uh, so this is the game. Okay, so WASD is to move. And you move your mouse around to change your... 
perspective, it appears. Uh, can we talk to these people? I've been here so long. I've counted all the floor tiles. I've even named some of them. Stop stepping on Lewis. Oh, God. Okay, left click is attack. Or interact, apparently. It takes so long to get through the license line. I hear some people don't make it. Someone told me the guy in the corner there has been there for months. I hope he's okay. Oh, yeah, there is a dead guy. Here lies a dis... <laughs> a dis... Gated husk of a man. His clothes are old and moth-eaten. He looks to have died of a combination of sheer soul-crushing bureaucracy and dehydration. His body is covered in cobwebs. Even the spiders look bored. Clutched to his chest is a crumpled pile of forms. And one hand has a blah 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 blah. Ticket. Old looking. T it crumbles when you bite it. It, it crumbles a crumbles when you bite it. It crumbles a bit when you touch it. The faded ink reads one number one or uh, four seventy six. It has hath been a pleasure to serve thee. I'm not going to read the diary. Water cooler. The water cooler appears to be empty and broken. Okay. Can we just... Woo, you're ne I see you're next. I'm glad you came up to the counter. I was about to skip your number. So you want to get to hear your hero training license. I see you've gotten all the right forms filled out. Solomon, the wise owl is his name. Okay. I'm going to have to ask you a few questions and list off the answers. Oh, the form provides... If it's simple, multiple choice. What is your name slash alias? If your name is not utterable by mortal tongues, please fill out form number blah 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 blah. Okay. Uh, I have to pick that. Okay. What is your gender? <laughs> male, female, undecided elf. I'm a male. What is your alignment? Lawful good, chaotic lazy, evil curious, Potato. Potato. Well, uh, woo, of course, that's what everyone chooses. Who wouldn't pick potato? Uh, do you have an arch nemesis or rival? No. No, that's not it. That's fine. Not all heroes in training start out with an arrival, so we provide one for you. Uh, rivals are, of course, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so this is basically Pokemon. Okay. Uh, Captain Pepper. Captain Sergeant Peppers. In the town square. Okay. Wow. Weird. Alright. Bye, guys. Stupid people waiting in line. Okay, so the license bureau. Is this the guy I'm supposed to talk to? Sergeant Peppers? You must have just gotten your hero's training license. Well, good luck to you, son. Wait, is he my dad? Or is he just saying son? There's some things you ought to know before you get started on your adventure. You should check all the shops around town. Blah, blah, blah. Got it. Okay. Okay. Got it. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, I didn't read the last thing. Oh, well. What does right click do? Okay. Shattered Forge. So this is the blacksmith, I'm assuming. Shop. Buy. Leather armor. Okay, so I have 200 gold. I can buy, like, one thing, probably. A bow. Cancel. I do not want that. A bow. More effective than yelling at someone. Very good description. Use to open locks. Don't use this on your nose. Okay, so this is good stuff. I don't know. I'm gonna look around town first, uh, before I make any decisions um oh there's a chicken is he like a vendor mr clucks cluck 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 okay that's literally all he says uh what is inventory uh oh is i is it i oh i okay i is character tin sword tatter drags sunglass question mark Four damage per second abilities, four damage per second class. Warrior, knight, barbarian, mage, wizard, mystic, rogue, thief, gadgeteer. Huh. I don't think I have that. I, could, I don't know. I don't really know what all this is. Uh... Abilities. Do I have any abilities? No, I did not. Perks. No perks. Stats. 
Okay. This is cool. Oh, right click sheathed my sword, it appears. No, it did not. I guess just inactivity with it. Uh, what else is there? Brew. I'm assuming this is the magician. <sighs> hmm, I don't care what you heard. Water doesn't do that to us. Oh, he's a witch. I see. Uh huh. Shop. Buy. Huh. Oh, that's awesome. Takes you to a destination of your choice. I kind of like that. I don't have that much money, though. Um. Let's get started, shall we? Terry, Terry Cloak. I'm gonna be one step ahead of you. Oh, this is my nemesis. I see you're intimidated by my good looks. Oh, well, he is a red-headed stepchild, it appears, so probably just overselling himself. Uh, and my mad skills. Not everyone can be as ma <laughs> massively suave as me. Uh, talking about mad skills, I should be off to the earth dungeon and flex some muscle. See you there, dork. I'm gonna follow this guy who's gonna walk, damn it. Oh, just walk, yeah, go like this. Walk into the door. See you at the first dungeon, dork. I, w I would like to go to the dungeon. How does one as assume this? What do, you what do you have to say? How did things go with your rival? Uh, things got off to a bad start, right? Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Yep, that's good. Those jellies have a fierce bite. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. I'm gonna look around here for anything secrety or cool. It appears it's like a kind of open world. I can't click on things, though. But, um... Yeah, looks kind of closed off and guided, too, in a way. So it's like linear branching style of gameplay. You develop, I'm assuming. What is this? Triple AAA livestock. So, AAA, AAA, AAA. Oh, I can buy pets, I think. Pet dog, pet dog, pet dog, pet dog. Okay. Well, I do not have 2,000 gold. Alright. Well, what's this thing in the middle? Portals you use are... Oh, okay. God, these guys' AI are pretty derpy. Like, look at that guy. He's just running around this house endlessly. Uh, I'm gonna go out here, though, because it looks like the only way to go. Alright, here's a bee. We're obviously gonna kill the fuck out of it. Can you loot it? No. Small jelly. Okay, that's how you loot it. You just run over. Oh, that's cool. So we're discovering everything. We're in the forest. Always go to the left is the rule. So if it's going to be a maze, always go to the left. Oh, there's a fucking jelly. Oh, what did I get? And I'm assuming I have potions on my bar? Oh, that upgrades my health. Permanently? Enchanted gloves. Ooh. Let's see how, uh... How this is gonna... Eh. Cancel. Uh... Enchanted gloves. Equip. There. Equipped. Bagged lunch. Temp. <laughs> Peanut butter jelly sandwich. Okay. Potion healing. No from parents. We believe in you, honey. We're so proud. We're gonna be a blah blah blah. Don't spend all your money on on wenches. Oh god. All right. So that's pretty cool. I got some gloves on now. Huh. Okay. So we've exhausted this this direction. It appears. I don't know how to cut down trees. Maybe you need like an axe or something. All oh, there's chickens. I think we have to exterminate them, right? Although you can't. So that's a dead end. Is there a way to sprint or quick walk or anything? Okay. So. 
Alright, so that way is a dead end. What's up here to the right? Okay. Looks like we continue over here. There's a dumb fucking bee. Okay, so we have 50 health. What does this do? Oh, it just heals you. It's not permanent. Okay. I don't know where I got that from, though. Killed that fucker. Oh, he's on my head! How adorable. Ah! Oh, I can hit multiple people at once. That's that's great. Oh, I threw him into the tree. Did you see that? Oh my gosh. I want to replicate that. Oh yes, you can. Get out of here. Oh my gosh, this game is great. Dump Dumblebee. Christopher Dumbus. Okay. Take the heart, damn it. Okay, I'm getting some good XP. Do mobs spawn randomly, or? I don't know if, like, combos do anything or anything like that. Oh, I didn't get any loot from that guy. Get him. Get him. Yes. Oh, fuck my name. Trade Usage First World. I thought it was a world. I didn't know it was a character specific name. I'm sincerely sorry. I think there's some coins in that here brush. Level up. Class. I do not want to be a knight or a warrior. I want. Requires seven points in warrior. Seven. That requires seven points in warrior. Wield the art of magic. Wizard. Seven points in mage. Okay, mystic. Requires seven points in mage. Rogue. For the roguish at heart. Thief requires seven points in rogue. Okay, and gadgeteer requires seven points in rogue. What can you do? <laughs> Toss a spider mine. Your constructs last time. Blah, blah. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Uh... Let's go with warrior for our first class. We can do more later. Purchase this skill. Swing at heavy, a heavy swing in front of you that does 150% of your primary damage DPS in a single strike. Okay, so let's learn how to use this. Although my alignment is potato, so. Okay, there we go, you just click two. Simple. Simple, simple. Makes sense. Alright, so now we're a knight. Or, or not a knight. Uh, a warrior. This is good. This is good. I'm okay with being a warrior. Oh, space bar, you tumble. Oh, fuck, that's baller. Do I have magic? Uh, or magic? Oh, it doesn't have... Okay, it has a little cooldown thing. I see. Dude, this game is great. Oh, there's a portal thing. those padded boots okay we got some padded boots enchanted nope yeah cancel where are our enchanted hood I didn't know I got that equip and padded boots equip there all right so we got some armor on oh return um. oh yeah give me my health back Pick up the health! I don't know how that works. Oh, the spells have cooldowns, I see. Oh, Enchanted Hood, Ring of Avoidance. Okay, I'm assuming, what does this say? I'm interested, you're entering the Earth Dungeon. Okay. Stop clicking the sign! Oh, fuck. I did not mean to do that. Oh, give me my gold. Um, I'm going to click on this thingy over here first, though. You've discovered a portal. Okay. Goes back to town. Okay. I get it. 
Um, I think, guys, that this is where I will end my first episode of our Forge Quest LP. Right before we go into the mysterious Earth Dungeon and talk to our nemesis. So, without further ado, thank you all very much, very much for watching this first episode. If you enjoyed, please come back for episode two. Um, leave a comment if you want uh, about the, the game and if you want to see more of this. Uh, if not, that's fine. I don't have to, to play and record this. But uh, I thought it'd be fun to bring a new game to you guys, see if you guys uh, enjoy. Um, it's also kind of an indie sort of like underdeveloped game or not underdeveloped undeveloped or undeveloped on youtube anyway game like not a lot of people have gone through and done let's plays of this so uh i wanted to be a little bit more unique and, and try it out all right thanks guys see you next time